How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are starting our franchise. It is finally here. The Operation Sports rosters dropped Friday night, and I am so excited to bring you guys this franchise. If you guys are excited for it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know what you guys are excited for with this series. Are you guys just super excited that we're finally starting a franchise um, that isn't just a one episode rebuild? Um, and let me know what you're most excited about for this series you know who do you think is going to be you know our superstar for this franchise so with this franchise i do want to set a couple rules very very quickly number one i want to limit the trades to three per season i think most mlb teams don't make too many trades um usually the most i see is like three um and that's kind of, that's kind of a good like round number to go with you know three that way if we need to we can make a mid-season trade a beginning of season trade um and it kind of keeps it so that we just don't go overboard every single season to make the team better i feel like three is a good number for trades the second rule that i have is that i don't want to be able to go out and sign a bunch of free agents so i'm going to limit it to kind of three to five um for free agents um so that if we you know maybe one of our players gets hurt so we need to make a mid-season signing to kind of help with you know a bench bat or fill a position that we're we're kind of lacking or maybe one of our starters went down and we don't really have a prospect that's ready to come in. Maybe we sign a veteran to kind of fill that spot for the end of the season. Or, you know, in the off season, one of our starters left and we need to we need a new, you know, starting center fielder or right fielder, whatever it is, then we can make a free agent signing. But I don't want to go overboard and I don't obviously want to go out and sign the top free agents all the time. But you know, I'd still want to be able to have that option to sign free agents. And number three, the final rule is I want to keep this semi-realistic. Um, at times, we may make a signing that isn't realistic or we may make a trade that isn't realistic. But for the most part, I want to try to keep it as realistic as possible. That way, we can make this series last more than two three seasons we can really you know deep dive into our prospects our farm system we can allow our draft picks to try to make it into the bigs um and things like that so i want to i want to make this a a series where you guys actually see how draft picks pan out how you know current prospects in the major leagues pan out and stuff like that i want to i want to try to make it um just a, a series that lasts more than like two or three seasons i want to make it you know, a, a, a full lengthy series for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep GM contracts on. So it gives us a little bit of pressure to actually, you know, push for some success, obviously. And then uh, we're going to take full control of everything. We're going to focus on scouting. We're going to work. We're basically trying to make this franchise the best as possible. Obviously, the Royals, they won a World Series in 2015. And ever since then, it's been kind of a crash and burn nothing much has gone the right way so with this being said i want to man like fix the roster really quick and then we'll talk about you know each position what we're looking at and uh yeah we'll get to it so really quickly let me fix the roster a bit and i'll be right back Alrighty, starting pitching wise, this is probably where we're best in terms of depth we have brad keller danny duffy jake junis jesse Hahn. And then I'm going to move Homer Bailey down to AAA if he passes through waivers. And then we're going to use Jorge Lopez as our fifth starter. Um, we have Eric Scogland, Heath Fillmeyer, Brady Singer is our top prospect in the entire farm system. Um, ben Lively, Andres Machado, Kower, Oaks. We have a lot of B potential pitchers. Um, Griffin's another one who I think... You know, this is where our strength is. We should have a lot of players who hit that mid 70s, low 80s point that I feel like we should have, you know, three, four, five locked up. We just need to find that ace. It could be Brad Keller. It should be Brady Singer. Um, and I'm just hoping, you know, we don't have to deep, you know, we don't have to acquire too many starting pitchers going forward. Um, so I think this is where we're set the most the issue i have right now is danny duffy's contract 15 million over the next three years he's not going to improve too much more um so this this is going to be one of those uh like one of our biggest 
roadblocks. You know, that's a big contract that we have to worry about. Relief pitching. This is kind of our biggest concern. You know, Jake Diekman's our best, and he's not going to get much better. If anything, he'll probably start to decrease. Um, we do have Tim Hill, but he's C potential. Ian Kennedy's 34. He's not going to get much better. Drew Storen, 31 with C potential. He isn't going to get much better. So really, the bullpen, we got to rely on McCarthy, Flynn, Zimmer, um, maybe Yanoa in the future. So a lot of question marks in the bullpen. Will McCarthy hit that 70? Will Flynn hit the 70? We have to wait and see what happens. So we do have a couple other B potential low rated bullpen arms, but I don't really think we have too much. Like we can't have confidence in this bullpen. We This is probably where most of our attention will be turned. Um, I feel like there's one person that has a big contract. I believe it is. Yeah, it is. It's Ian Kennedy, 16 million over the next two years. This one is another problem that we're going to be having. Um, closing pitcher, Brad Boxberger. I think it's only a one-year deal. Um, but this is probably another place where we're going to have to find a new pitcher. Closing pitcher for the future. We need to find somebody. Um, catching, this is where you know we're set. Salvador Perez, a potential. He's 28, 79 overall. He's got, what, a three-year deal? So we should be fine for catcher. We also do have Cam Gallagher, Melendez, Valoria. So prospects-wise, we're looking good. I feel like catching, we're set. First baseman, we do have Lucas Duda, who's on a one-year deal. We also have Ryan O'Hearn, who I believe is on his last year of his contract as well. So if Ryan O'Hearn doesn't pan out, we're obviously going to need a first baseman. But for right now, I feel like we're okay. Ryan O'Hearn should be fine mid 20s you know low 70 overall he should only go up in rating and i feel like first base we're okay second base we're we're set to whit merrifield's on a long-term deal not too expensive either um he's a good second baseman i feel like second base we're good uh, we also have nicky lopez so once merrifield starts to decrease i'm hoping nicky lopez can take over that second base spot hunter dozier I think we're okay for third base. Um, we'll see how he plays out. We may, you know, we may need to find a new third baseman if it doesn't uh, work. But for third base, we should be fine. It's not my biggest concern. Shortstop is probably where I feel like the most secure along with second base. We have Mondesi. We have Merrifield. That you know, the middle infield you know, is set. You know, we don't, we don't obviously have too many prospects that look nice, but for Mondesi, he's 23. He's only going to get better. We shouldn't need a shortstop anytime soon. Left field, we have some question marks. We don't have any prospect above 54. Uh, so that's an issue. We have an aging Alex Gordon in the last year of his contract. So what do we do with left field? We obviously need to find a left fielder. And I may have a, you know, a solution for that um, within the organization. Center field, we have Billy Hamilton, who's in the last year of his deal. If he does well, I definitely consider bringing him back. He's got good fielding, good speed, okay bat. Definitely wish it would increase. But at 28 years old, he should only go up in rating. So he might be a player I'd look to bring back. We also have Chris Owings, who's on a one-year deal. If he performs well, he could definitely be a decent platoon player for us um, for the future. Michael Gigliotti or Gigliotti potentially could be a, you know, a center fielder for us in the future. Jorge Bonifacio and Jorge Soler are two right fielders. Um, and then I kind of think one of these two should be moving to left field um, to help out you know, once Alex Gordon leaves, um, if he retires at the end of the season or we just don't sign him back. Um, and then we do have Brett Phillips, who I want to be our right fielder for the future. He's got a potential. He's 64 overall. He's 24. He definitely should start to start. Uh, he definitely should start increasing very soon. So I feel like he's our right fielder for the future. We have Bonifacio or Soler who can move to left field when we need them to. We also have Suli Matias, who definitely could, you know, feature in the future. So we have good corner outfielders. We have a center field, you know, that looks set if Billy Hamilton pans out. Middle infield's good. The question marks, you know, third maybe in the future. First baseman will O'Hearn pan out. Um, so you know, we have some pieces. It's just we got we we gotta hope and pray that they actually develop um and that it, it works. So that's the roster. Those are kind of my thoughts behind it. Um we that's that's what I'm thinking. So another thing with free agents, and I kind of touched on why I didn't want to go out and be able to sign all these free agents was because, you know, when you see who's available currently, they definitely could help us win right away. You know, Dallas Keuchel, um, it would automatically be our best starter. You know, Takahiro Narimoto, one of the 
uh, highly sought after international free agents. He's he looks decent for a starter already. Kodai Senga could be another option, but you know that's why I said I wanted to limit free agent signings. Um, bullpen, there aren't too many amazing options. Um, someone that was interesting, Carter Caps. His per nines aren't amazing, but he would definitely help out. You know, a bullpen that isn't too convincing currently. Craig Kimbrell obviously would be an amazing closer. But it's just not something I see happening in real life. Catcher, we don't have to worry about. First baseman, I'm not too worried about right now. Second baseman, Tetsuro Yamada. He's another, you know, international uh, free agent that a lot of MLB teams, you know, could look into signing. Should we sign him? We don't really need him. So that's why I'm kind of like not considering it. We also have Nicky Lopez as a prospect. Third base, we're good with Hunter Dozier. Plus, there's not too many options here that interest me. Um, shortstop, there are two options that interest me, mostly because we don't have any shortstop prospects that have B potential or higher. So there are two options here. Yolbert Sanchez, the Cuban player, 22 years old, B potential, good fielding. Not so much a good hitter, but he's got decent speed, good fielding, could 100% help us out in the future, you know, if a player gets injured, or, you know, he can also play third base, so maybe he's a future third baseman for us. Um, another player, Robert Poisson, or Poisson, you know, Dominican, 18 years old, A potential, again, good arm strength, good speed, not necessarily an amazing hitter yet, but he's 18, he's 60 overall. He definitely could help us. You know, maybe he's that second base uh, baseman for the future once Whit Merrifield starts to decrease in rating. So do you think we should be able to sign one of these young players? Let me know in the comment section down below. I definitely think it's, you know, interesting to be able to go and sign a couple prospects that won't help us out right now, but for the future definitely will help us out. Plus our farm system isn't that good. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's out there. It's an option that I wanted to present to you guys. Another, uh, prospect that i did look at was um jason dominguez again a potential he's 18 years old 60 overall um what happens if billy hamilton doesn't work out we do need a center fielder um he can also play the corner outfield spot good speed decent fielding not the greatest of bats but again he's 18 years old helps out with that farm system that's lacking so he could be a you know a player that we look into um you got ui bayashi he looks decent, but I don't really want to go out and sign a player where we don't really need him. You know, we have Soler, Bonifacio, Brett Phillips. Do we need a corner outfielder? I don't think so, but there are a couple decent names. Byron Laura is another one. Um, stats don't look great, but again, he's 18 years old. Um, there's also Alexander Palma, who's got a potential. He's 22. He's got a like good speed, decent fielding, okay bat. So there are those international free agents that I'm looking at. Most of them are prospects. Um, and I think I'd keep it to like maybe signing two. So I showed you guys which, you know, free agents are available. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, you know, should we go out and sign one or two of them? Um, I definitely think maybe one or two is the best. Um, that way we do have a couple, you know, prospects to look out for. Um, but obviously I don't want to go too heavy on it. So there is that. And there is one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So I did say I wanted to limit um, the trades in this series. So one of our like strongest positions, I would say, and I, I don't mean strongest is like our highest overall, but we have Bonifacio, Soler and Phillips. You know, we don't need all of those right fielders. I did say I wanted to move one to left field, but at the same time, why not trade one of them to a team that needs a right fielder and maybe get a bullpen arm in return? So again, in the comment section, you guys have two things to let me know. One, how many of those prospects should we sign? Which prospect do you guys you know, think looks the best? Two, which trade should we do? So I have some options for you. Jorge Soler is the oldest. He's not the highest overall either um i like that bonifacio is a little bit younger his bat usually develops he's a decent fielder solaire not the best of fielders bat really is only good versus lefties i like brett phillips he's an he's a good fielder he's only gonna get better he's young and he has a potential so solaire's kind of the odd one out he also has the biggest contract so i look to see which teams need right fielders so we have two 
options here. Um, the first one is with the Astros. You know, they, they have Josh Reddick. They do have Jordan Alvarez. But, you know, they don't really have, you know, an in-between. Jordan's not ready just yet. Reddick's kind of on the way out because he's aging. So, maybe we trade him to the Astros. And we pick up a, you know, a Chris Devensky who's not too far off in the trade value. Um... Or we try to go for pieces who will help us grow in the future. Uh, from Bear Valdez and Josh James are also an option. So this is the option I'm looking at. Solaire for James and Valdez. What do you guys think about this one? I think this one's good for the future. We get an A potential reliever and also a B potential reliever. They're not the best, but I think they definitely could help us out for the future. So that's option number one. Another team that is in need of a right fielder is the Miami Marlins. Um, Peter O'Brien is the same overall as Soler almost, but he's got C potential, so he's not going to get much better. So why not get a player who's only going to increase in overall and help him out? So with that, this is the trade I'm looking at. Steckenrider and Austin Bryce for Soler. Um, obviously, we would need to you know attach another player, and this is where we you know we we, we throw in maybe like Jake Newberry. And that would be the trade that would be done. So what do you guys think? Should we go with the Astros or should we go with the Marlins deal? Let me know in the comment section down below. So those are the two things, guys. I need you to let me know which trade to be, you know, which trade needs to be done. And also, should we go out and sign some of those international prospects? I think, you know, if you guys say no to the prospects, it's not the biggest of deal. Uh, you know, they're, they'll most likely just be signed by another team and uh, we'll see them, you know, develop. But at the same time, they could help us develop in the future. So that would be um, something that needs to be done. So there's our, you know, that's our first episode, guys. I just wanted to get the intro out. I wanted to talk about the roster. I kind of wanted to talk about the whole premise of this series. Yes, we will be doing scouting. I will be scouting like crazy. I'll deep dive into like all the prospects and stuff. I'll give you guys, you know, the, you know, the, once we get into draft, I'll be like, this is who I want and whatnot. I want scouting to be very important. I want to keep this somewhat realistic so that we can definitely have this series last a while without it getting boring because we just created a super team after one season because we just went out and signed everybody or we traded for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It probably was a little bit of a ramble video. Um, but it's just, it's, it's the intro. I want to, I want this to get, you know, a good base. I want you guys to see what the roster's looking like, who I'm planning on keeping, who, you know, who's kind of on trial, who could possibly leave. Um, but at the same time, we aren't going to make too many drastic changes because, you know, that kind of ruins the whole series. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Who do we trade for? Who do we sign? And I will catch you all in the next video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.